I think, well, personally, it's, start, um, it's been quite nice to get a run out um, at this time of year. Um, played in um, one of the fifth, one of the fifteen, two game, two fifty overs, um, and obviously the the three day game that's currently going now. Um, it's been nice, yeah, just to to get some sun on the back and um, and and yeah, get on grass really. So that's that, that's how it's gone for me. Um, yeah, uh, pretty frustrating for me really. Um, came over a bit of a peck niggle and it just hasn't really gone away. So kind of got to the point where I was bowling out a batter and then we kind of went backwards a little bit. But still plenty of time to be fit for the start of the season. But a bit of a frustrating time. But then there's always positives like be able to meet the lads like outside of. Uh, just edge basting outside of winter training, actually get to know them a little bit more, spend some quality time with the team, and kind of like just feel like you're definitely part of the team now after like transitioning into the club across the winter. Yeah, I think um, you know, similar to what Liam just touched on there, you know, some new faces, um, a new setup, just getting in, um, getting to know people is obviously takes a bit of time. Um, yeah, I remember the first sort of. Uh, few weeks or so you just d didn't feel quite as what you used to um, so from that part um, yeah uh, it's been a bit of a transition um, but but now yeah now I feel you know part of the club part of the team um, and I've got to know the guys a lot better and yeah like Liam said you know when you're, when you're away with guys now you're training the day coming back um, and, and really you know you're playing a bit of, bit of pool in the bar or you're sitting around just chatting um, over a bit of food. It's, it's it's nice to get to know people on a sort of a different level, really. Yeah, I guess so. We it was quite similar at Gloucester in a way. Uh, we were both probably seeing senior players there. You're only uh, mid twenties yourself, and uh, well, I've just turned twenty seven. So we're seeing senior players there, but it was a young group. But it's quite nice here that you've got one in the scale. You've got people like Belly. Other end, like I said, you've got George here. On tour and yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, you, you're young, you're young lads. There you go, got it out. Um, but it's a really good balance. You've got lads who play a lot of cricket, but still quite young. You've got your lads who are just coming into the game. And what's nice is that everybody chats to everybody, and you, you can learn off anybody in the team. Like just because Gaz hasn't played any first in cricket doesn't mean I can't learn something off him. And it does, like the older, more senior players are really easy to approach. So. Yeah, it's just a really good atmosphere around change room. No, definitely, I agree with that. Um, like I say, it's, it's, it's quite a good mix of youth, but of guys that have had some experience, you know, a lot of the, the side of, you know, won Division 2 last year. Um, yeah, you know, the likes of Ian Ballon in the change room is, is always great to have. Um, and then, you know, me and Liam coming from um, Gloucestershire, who, you know, Division 2 club, that's where we've sort of, you know, played all our cricket. Um, it's still a lot of cricket that we've both played. You know, we've both played 60 first-class matches and a good handful of one day in T20. So, you know, we've had experience ourselves. We've played on wickets that, you know, you can you might come up on um, in Division One. Uh, those sorts of wickets. So, it's yeah, it's, it's a good mix. Um, some good experience um, around the guys, and, and and it's a group that's that's really willing to to learn and improve their game. Yeah, definitely. On the trip, um, probably almost. Not step back a bit because our running workloads have changed into bowling workloads and playing. So it's still been a tough trip for that, like 250 overs, a three day game with fitness sessions. And well, we did 100 overs in four hours a few weeks uh, started last week when we first got here. So that's quite tough. But the winter as a whole has just been, it's been tough. You know, like Jack's put us for our paces, but the lads haven't moaned. They've just fronted up to it and just got on with it. Um, so yeah, it's been like a tough winter, but a really rewarding winter and a fun winter. No, definitely, I agree. Um, yeah, over here, like Liam said, we've we played a played a fair amount of cricket in terms of even in in a sort of inter squad game as such. But um, yeah, it's been a tough tough winter. But you know, you get past Christmas, you start sort of bowling at batters, um, and and start looking at actually the season ahead and, and how you're going to go about your cricket. So um, at times, it's, it's can be slow. You know, on the on the fitness days, you know, you're at the track or. You're in the gym and, and it's dark and gloomy, but um, you know it's it's what the the kind of um, professional creates about. You know, you you know you got to put your your hard yards in um, throughout the winter to, to get your rewards in the summer. Oh, massively so! I can't wait to get out in the park. Um, I think in the last few weeks, obviously Paul Park Park Race has come on board, and just someone 
of that caliber wanting to come to the club shows what a big club it is and it's like it's an, it's an honor to be able to come and play for the bears and there's a lot about this team about not about playing for the bear and is it just what you want to do you want to make the bear proud you want to perform well and in a day you you want to be someone who's remembered by being a bears player no definitely i agree um you know before we came out here there's we've had a few sessions around culture and actually you know what it what it means to play for Warwickshire and the guys in the past who've who've played and represented the club and and how they've kind of left their mark and and um, you know created that kind of um, culture around what what it means. So yeah, I think it's um, it's a great honour, like Liam said, it, to to come and play um, at Edgebaston um, as a home ground um, and and follow on from guys um, that you've grown up you know watching. Um, and, and trying to replicate really. I think personally for me, you know, it's it's a step up to Division One, the four day cricket. Um, I think you know if if I can I can hold my own and 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 really put in some performances that allow me to to believe I'm good enough and and hopefully you know the rest will take care of itself. You know, I, for me personally, I don't like putting numbers on wickets. It's a, it's about doing the job and hopefully that sort of takes takes care of itself so yeah establish myself firstly in in the squad and, and and in the in the first 11 hopefully um and and then move on from there yeah very similar from my point of view um I've, again i've never been one to put i want this many wickets i want to do this i want to do that my main goal is just to get picked and if i'm being picked consistently then i'm obviously doing something we're right to be out on the pitch but yeah i just want to get myself in the first team play as much cricket as possible and hopefully play all three formats and yeah just have a good year but mainly as a team, have a good year and get as high of a championship and as deep into the limited overs cricket as possible.